What's happening, everybody? Jay Shock Blast here. And if you're like me, uh, you are a huge fan of Stephen Amell as uh, the Arrow on uh, the the show Arrow, and uh, you are becoming a big fan of Grant Gustin in his role as the Flash in uh, the show, also called The Flash. Um, if there's one area of you know the uh, the live action world that DC is just absolutely crushing Marvel in, it is uh, TV. And uh, Steve Amell is a huge reason for that. Um, honestly, his portrayal of Oliver Queen has been nothing short of iconic. I feel like he has made that show into you know absolute must-watch TV for a character that, quite frankly, uh, I was pretty shocked had his own TV show. And uh, I very, was very slow to get into it. Um, honestly, it was well into season two uh, before I even started watching the show. And I watched it more out of desperation uh, than anything, uh, just needing something to get my mind off of a bad, bad time I was going through in my life. And um, it came at the perfect time for me. And I have been absolutely addicted ever since. Um, so it was with great disappointment when I heard that Zack Snyder uh, is making the Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice movie um, with uh, David Goyer. And uh, we are not going to see Mr. Amell or Mr. Gustin as uh, reprising their roles as The Flash and uh, Green Arrow. You know, I understand that, you know, schedules being what they are, but I feel like there are not two more perfect people to play the roles of Barry Allen and Oliver Queen than the people that we already know as those characters. Um, so they haven't announced anybody to play either character yet. So there's still a lot of time for them to make that decision. Uh, there were some rumors that... Uh, Scott McNary was, or I'm sorry, Scoot McNary uh, was going to play Barry Allen, but uh, that turned out to not be true. Uh, he will actually be playing the role of Jimmy Olsen. Um, so that's encouraging. They, I don't think, I, I've kind of scoured the internet, I don't think they've actually announced who will be the Flash yet. And um, I know that as far as you know, Justice League is concerned, uh, Green Arrow is not really a huge priority, so I mean, yes, he is a, a founding, you know, member of the Justice League. Maybe not a founding member, member, but he's definitely one of the the more central characters of the Justice League. Um, he's been involved for a long time, but just had never been up until Stephen Amell uh, nearly as popular as he has become. And uh, I really feel like what Stephen Amell has done with the, uh, the Arrow, uh, Green Arrow, uh, has been just incredible. I mean, so to kind of, I just feel like it's insulting um, to to him and and to what he's done for the DC Comics, you know, cinematic universe. I know it's not, you know, the cinema, but more like the. Um, you know, it's more TV, but I mean, like, so many people already know him as Arrow, and I just really feel like, why not go with it? Like, what what's there to really lose, you know? Um, sure, there's some scheduling conflict, potentially, but, you know, you've got so much time to do it, and I honestly don't really think that, um, you know, the guy's at CW would have a huge issue with uh, Stephen Amell getting some exposure in, in a Superman versus Batman movie or a Justice League movie because it's only going to help them in the long run. It's only going to make their show more popular than it already is. And I feel like it's... I honestly feel like Arrow is the best show on television. Hands down, bar none. And I hope you guys all feel the same. Um, I know you're not going to carry everything that they've done over, but I feel like there's just such a huge opportunity... You know, that, that movie's going to make its money hand over fist regardless. Um, why not, you know, give these guys who are out there year in, year out, you know...
Superman, Batman, you know, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, you know, got Batfleck, you got Henry Cavill as as Superman, um, even uh, Jason Momoa as uh, Aquaman, you know, he'll be introduced. Um, Ray Fisher as Cyborg. So, um, you know, we are definitely now, you know, showing off a lot of these Justice League characters. So, why not Grant Gustin? You know, why not Stephen Amell? I mean, I really feel like both of these guys can at least, you know, make a, a cameo, like a a little bit of a an intro uh, to the the franchise. And then when you're ready to do your Justice League movie, um, I mean, these guys will be way more established than they even are now. You know, we're talking Arrow being in like season five or six at that point. And the Flash would probably be in season, you know, th three. So, and and trust me, both of these shows are destined to, to go that route, you know, to to be long-standing franchises that rival that of, of Smallville, you know. Smallville, what were they, 12 seasons? Arrow has all the, the probability of going that distance. Uh, going as long as, you know, the cast wills it to, you know. So, uh... I really think that these two guys right here, uh, you know, Stephen Amell, Grant Gustin, uh, they need to be in uh, in any Justice League related movies. Uh, they are their characters. Stephen Amell from now until the end of time is the Green Arrow to me. Uh, he will always be the Green Arrow to me. Like that is that is how well he's he's done with the role, and. Uh, you know, I'm not going to say that Grant Gustin's there yet, but uh, if he keeps kind of going at this pace, you know, the performance that he's done, I, I really feel like it's a great opportunity uh, for, you know, the Snyder crew to uh, to get two, two guys that are just so well known for the character. I understand that, you know, there can exist two universes. I understand that the TV universe doesn't always mesh with uh you know canon uh they kind of stretch the blur the lines a little bit here and there um i understand all that but uh that doesn't change the fact that you know these guys definitely deserve to be in it um you know let let ben affleck show up in an episode of arrow for like a minute as bruce wayne you know they've already alluded to wayne enterprises in the in the show um, you know, let Henry Cavill be there as a reporter, Clark Kent, you know, you know, there, there's lots of cross promotion possibilities. Again, I understand they don't need to cross promote that movie is going to make money hand over fist because it's Superman and Batman in the same movie. Um, I, I get all that, but you know, some, for the sake of continuity, um, I really feel like it's a great opportunity for everybody involved. I I would I don't want to like speak for them, but I'm sure you know Amel and and uh, Gustin would probably do it for free uh, just to have the opportunity to uh, kind of expand their characters. And uh, it would be huge for their TV shows. It would be huge for DC Comics in general. Um, so let's make it happen, guys. I mean, this needs to happen. I would love to know what you guys think. Uh, especially if you're excited for the movie. It's not out until 2016. So anyway, we'll see you guys. Hope you enjoy.